Welcome to Omaha. We take parking seriously here. Back in 2011, we conducted a study to assess the downtown parking situation and found that parking in Omaha was not up to our standards. We decided to give parking the attention it deserves by hiring our first ever city parking manager. When I came on board, I took an approach of trying to bring the system together. There was an adequate parking supply. It just wasn't being managed correctly. The garages were charging higher rates than the meters. Function of parking management is really to kind of create opportunities for the customer, and that means to have the on-street operations to create the turnover and push those long-term parkers into the parking facilities. There was no management to the parking before King came in. We had metered parking from 8 to 5 every day, which was not the hours that business was. Our business is 5 o'clock at night until 9 o'clock. It's weekends. So when Ken came in, he not only changed the meter so we would have Saturday, then he also lowered the rates in the garage. So we moved a lot of our street traffic into the garages, which helped us free up these spaces so that we could turn traffic better, get more customers in. So when the city of Omaha created the parking division, it was very important for us to find a way to separate ourselves from the private operators here in the downtown area, and there's a lot of them. So having a brand is what is going to be needed for that to, to happen. What we did here with the, with the P that you see on all of our facilities, it's on our uniforms, it's on our signs. Uh, everybody who comes downtown, they can tell the difference between a City of Omaha location versus any other location down here. So here in the City of Omaha, we use parking ambassadors. The parking ambassadors are different from the typical parking enforcement officers that you'll see in other parts of the country. Parking ambassadors are here to provide a service to the city, but not just to write citations on top of Enforcing those ordinances, we want them to maybe provide some directions to customers who are downtown or just having a conversation on what a good place to eat would be. We want to have that type of customer-friendly approach to how we do business down here. Technology in the industry has really been a bonus for the parking professions. Whether it's on street, off street, it's been helpful from the standpoint of compliance on at the meters. Uh, we see it in enforcement. Uh, we see parking reservation platforms that have really provided us access to additional customers that we didn't have before. Now we have credit card payment, we have an app. All these things have created a system that nobody talks about parking in the old market anymore. There's just no need, it's not a worry. Parking Enterprise has really kind of turned a corner here from the standpoint we're able to participate more in development terms. Uh, we, we now have a seat at the table when we're talking about development or economic development in the downtown area. When Ken first came in, he was actually controversial. Everybody wanted to talk to him because everybody wanted to complain to him. And he kept telling everybody, give me time. The changes have just been phenomenal and unfortunately Ken will be forgotten now because it's all improved. I think parking gets oversimplified a lot from the standpoint of developers or customers or even business owners look at and say, it's a space, just pull a car and pull it out. Uh, but it's really about managing supply and demand, uh, balancing a system between on-street and off-street, and using enforcement as a tool to manage the entire system. The parking system has come a long way, and there's so much more we can do.